This conference will now be recorded. So I will be starting our next topic that is sampling procedure. OK, so the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is sampling procedure. What is the use of sampling procedure? Data maintained in the sampling procedure. Types of sampling procedures. Then we will see how to create the sampling procedures in the system. How to create the sampling scheme. Okay. And then configuration related to sampling scheme. So these are the topics we will be covering in the sampling procedure. Okay. So basically, uh, sampling procedure defines the rules that specify how the system calculates the sample size and it contains information about the valuation of an inspection characteristic during results record. So basically, sampling procedure will tell you what is the sample quantity. What is the sample size? Okay, how much sample quantity the person has to, the, the analyst has to take from the total lot that is calculated by the sampling procedure. And also it will give you the valuation mode, how the valuation has to be done for the characteristics. This we will cover later point of time. Okay, normally sampling procedures are usually used at characteristic level of a task list or metal specification. So this sampling procedures ultimately are assigned to a characteristic in the task list, in the inspection plan. This we will cover when we go to inspection plan. So basically sampling procedure will contain two things. One is sampling type, another one is valuation mode. Okay, sampling type, the sampling type defines how a sample is calculated. Okay, whether it is a fixed sample, whether it is 100% inspection, full, full quantity inspection, or sampling scheme, this we will discuss, or percentage sample. Okay, that is sample type. Basically, it, this sample type will calculate the sample size. Next one is valuation mode. This defines rules for accepting or rejecting a characteristic or a sample. So this valuation mode, we will discuss when we go to the, uh, what do you call, results recording here, that time we'll discuss. There you will understand the valuation type importance. Okay, so that is a sampling procedure. So basically the sampling procedure, the sample determination where, where it happens is based on certain events, uh, like when you receive the material from a supplier, okay, or when you produce a product and when you do the GR, see if you have all the settings in place, system will generate an inspection lot. So once inspection lot is generated, the next step is sample determination. Okay, sample determination means you have to know the sample quantity from the, let's say you received 100 liter. From this 100 liter for quality inspection, how much sample you need to take? That is determined by sample determination. So in the, in our quality inspection flow, after the lot creation, the next step is a sample determination. Nothing but sample size calculation, sample calculation, sample quantity calculation, okay? So now this sample sampling procedure basically uh, can be maintained in the material master also. You can assign it to the inspection type in the material master. You can enter the manual, manual calculation, or you can enter a fixed percentage, or even you can directly enter the sampling procedure. This I will show it in the system. Okay. So let's go to the system now. Let's assume today we don't face any issues. Huh? Let's see. Okay. Okay, I will go to your material. Okay, so let me take this material. Okay, ROH, hydrochloric, hydrochloric acid, 80. If this material, if you go, if you go to metal master, I'll go it in the change mode. Okay, material number is 80. Enter. Okay, now let's directly go to QMU. Okay, I will go to QMU. Okay, this is the plant, continue. 
now when you go to inspection setup go to inspection setup i will assign a inspection type okay this already we discussed i will assign inspection type 01 okay so if you click on check all parameters will come so here you see there are some fields manual sample calculation okay and manual sample entry if the user has to enter the sample quantity manually they would they, they don't want system to calculate okay user wants user has to enter the sample quantity manually then you have to activate this checkbox so if you activate this checkbox system allows the user to enter the sample quantity that is a checkbox now let's say the sample quantity is always some percentage of some percentage of total quantity let's say five percent that you can enter here okay five percent or if it is total quantity total your sample quantity is equal to your total lot quantity then you have to activate this checkbox then your lot quantity sample quantity will be same or you can enter the sampling procedure here there which we will create in the in a minute okay so this is the place where you define it so you can assign the sampling procedure in the material master in the inspection type also here also you can assign okay so that's mm. what you are discussing uh, this one which says manual sample calculation uh, manual sample calculation means you are, you are talking about this checkbox huh? uh, that means he has to go and trigger the calculation system will not calculate system will not trigger automatically system mm -hmm. will calculate the sample size but you have to trigger it manually that is the difference between these two mm -hmm. okay this i will this i will tell later point of time okay see the difference this, the difference between these two is manual sample entry means you will be enter the quantity sample quantity you have to enter manually user has to enter whereas this one manual sample calculation means user has to trigger the sample calculation manually but system will can trigger trigger is bad if you don't activate this checkbox then system will automatically trigger the sample calculation and it will calculate the sample quantity that is the difference okay so basically here in the inspection type you can have these options you can activate manual or you can define a percentage or you can enter the sampling procedure in the material master in the inspection time okay but normally usually they don't maintain here they maintain they will assign to the characteristic in the inspection plan i will show it in a minute okay so now basically sampling procedures are two two types two types one is dependent on the lot size dependent on the lot size like some percentage okay or some iso standard related okay or independent of the lot size okay one is fixed lot size fixed lot size or full quantity full 100 percent 100 percent okay so there are two types basically dependent on the lot size independent of the lot size okay yeah. so as we discussed sampling procedure will contain two things one is sample type another one is valuation mode sample type will tell you how the sample is determined mixed sample or whether it is a fixed sample, full inspection, a deposit, or it is a sampling scheme, or it is a percentage sample. Okay, we have this four. We will create all these things now. Now, valuation mode will tell you. It will define the rules for acceptance, rejectance of the characteristic value. Okay, this we will discuss when we go to the results record. Okay, so now let's go and create the sampling procedure. So basically. Sampling procedure. Sampling procedure is a combination of two sampling sample type, sample type plus valuation mode. Valuation. Okay. So now there are basically four types of sampling procedures. One is fixed sample. One is fixed sample. Okay. Next one is percentage sample percentage sample okay next one is 100 percent inspection 100 percent inspection and the fourth one is sampling scheme we will disc we will create all these things sampling scheme okay we have four first let's start with the fixed sample 
Okay.